my name is Ashley. Today I'm going to show you how to paint beautiful under the ocean or in aquarium. Beautiful corals and beautiful fishes. All right, first what we have to do is, I'm going to do it with acrylic. I'm going to wet my canvas. It's going to be all wet with water. And now what we have to do is we're going to do blue the ocean. I'm just going to put color like this and I'm gonna spread I added a little bit water so I can spread it easy now the top part we can make a little bit lighter it's gonna be like almost the surface mixed with white now this is an acrylic in the ocean this is the ocean and the corals is gonna be the front so this is the top part we have to leave this for a few minutes and then we're gonna use oil paint on it. So what I'm doing over here, I'm mixing just a little drop of black, dark blue, just the bottom part. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna work with oil paint. All right, now what we have to do, we have to spray it again. Now the paint is dry, we're gonna just wet the canvas again. What we have to do is, let's turn it upside down. I have a blue color, black color, red color. We're gonna make the corals. We're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna put a drop of colors here and there, black. And then we're gonna mix a little bit. Colors we're gonna put. Does I remember it's gonna be like a corals. We're gonna wait a little bit and we're gonna let it run. We're gonna let it run. At the same time, we're gonna get a straw and we're gonna blow it. Like you see how much it ran? So you just keep it, hold it like this later on. And we have to blow it like this way. So what we have to do is, we're gonna make designs of the coral. Hold it a little bit far away and move them and shake them. Put a little black, mix it with it. We're gonna need some green. Do you see it? We're gonna let it kind of run. Do you see how it's running down? Then you bring it back up like this. And then later on, what we have to do is, we will take a, a brush like this. Once a little bit it's dry, we're gonna put new colors and we're gonna make a beautiful designs. So now, I'm gonna add the bottom part, some colors. You just hold your canvas different directions. So the liquid goes up and down and it will give you a beautiful design. And then we're gonna take the brush, we're gonna pounce it. And of course, we're gonna add different colors, let's say, I want to put more red, yellow color. So now we're going to wait a little bit here. And we're going to add again some red, a little bit with black. Let's put black color here. A little bit yellow around here. A little bit, a little darker yellows. A little bit green color we're gonna let it go this way this time 
we're gonna hold it like this we're gonna spray it and we're gonna let the color run down because under the ocean there is all kind of variety beautiful colors a little bit greenish around here and then we're gonna add very beautiful fishes here's a little blue and here is a little bit brown you never can mess up this painting It depends how beautiful you see with your eyes. If you think it needs different color, more red, more yellow, more pink, more whatever, just do it. We're watering a little bit further so it doesn't run too, too much. And then we're gonna let this dry. Let's add a little bit more green around here. It's a messy work, but it's gonna be beautiful work. Now over here, I see a little hair in it. So when you have a hair, just take your brush and pull it like this. So like I said, I'm gonna let this dry and then we're gonna continue again. Okay, now that you will see over here, the acrylic is dried up. So what we have to put now, I'm gonna put it Lince it on. I'm going to put the oil. So I'm going to put the oil so when we paint it, it will make it easier for us. Like I said, when you do the painting, acrylic, you can always do oil paint on it. But when you have oil, it, you cannot do acrylic on it. So now I'm going to put very little lince it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to spread all over we don't want too too much because when you put a lot later on after a while later it's gonna start to leak on you so you make sure you put very little and you make it to to drink all over the places if you need extra you air it if not you put it very very little make sure that it's all over there is in case if you put a lot, what you have to do is take a paper towel later on, very gently wipe it so you don't have anything to, to drip. You, want, you don't want bubbles uh, and you don't want any uh, lines leaking down. You have to put it very, very thin coat, not a lot. Always put it back and look far away while you have the light. You can see while it's shining, if there is any place it's not done, you will be able to tell very easy. So far, it looks like I'm done, except the edges over here. This is half lacy, then half turpentine it is. I'm going to dip my brush in it. And I'm going to take the color. The way you see here, over here, like I put green color. Let's, I'm going to turn the picture back up like this and I'm going to put more turpentine with the color again. I'm going to take some orange. I'm going to make kind of a liquidy. And then this is what you have to do and with the straw you will blow it and you will make your own little flowers. I'm going to show you that when you put the color for the coral, you can put different way, different places, and you can give design by blowing on the paints. And then you will leave it down. What it's going to do, it's going to mix together.
this is the way it's gonna look you make a little light and then put a little darker on it so this way you have to mix the color together by doing coral colors and then you do whatever you want and then you can take your uh, pouncing, a circle round brush which I call this pouncing uh, uh, brush and then you can put any color do you want to put on your corals change the color or whatever you want you'll do that so it will look very beautiful corals so it's going to be a lot and I'm going to do it over here but uh, I'm sure you got the idea so when I do like this sometimes it's going to run the color down so what I have to do is I'm going to hold the color I mean I'm going to hold the canvas in my hands and I'm going to let it run down and let it hold up and then take the blow, uh, the straw And I have to blow it so it will make the color. Sometimes I have to hold it up and sometimes I have to hold it down. And it's going to be very beautiful coral into the water. And I'm going to come back, but you got the idea what to do. Because I'm going to hold up and down. It's going to take plenty of time. So I will do it myself and I will show you. Okay. Now you see it over here. I did plenty because I had to lay it down. The canvas some places that you will see uh, what I did I just like tap it put colors just like this and you can do whatever color do you want this is gonna look like it's a uh, coral under the ocean whatever color you want you can put I still can add and some places I might um, I made a little bit mess but no worries we're gonna put some fishes on it so it's going to look very, very beautiful. It's basically just regular color it is that I mix them together and tap them here and there. And then I took the, the blower, wherever I dipped it in a little bit in a turpentine, just like this way. I made it more liquidy, like you see over here. It's running down the way you see it. So while it's liquidy, I took it and I put it on the liquid part just like this and I took the keep it straight of course down like this and you take the straw and you blow it and you make it like a star like a opening to look like a flower so this is the way you will do under the ocean it's not hard it's very simple very easy it just need patience now you can add if you want more lighter color you can put a little bit more red more burgundy like a um, lizard crimson uh, you can put more dark to make it depth uh, you know lighter in the front tap it just to give different designs so whatever you want you can do it all right so now we have to start to do the fish now what I'm going to do is very very little drop of again linseed oil I'm going to just put a little bit here and there I have to be careful that it's still the color it's not dried yet so I have to be very careful so now I want to start with jellyfishes and we know that jellyfish kind of transparent they are we have to make it round just like you put your brush down and you just you put your brush down and you will I'm touching with a little drop again with the linseed because I don't want to make it white white I want to make it like a transparent you put the brush down like this and you go circle
All right, we have to do few like this. We have to do high up and a little bit lower. Do you see how I'm turning the brush? I put it down and go circle. And then inside you can paint. Now I'm going to take a small brush and basically I'm just putting regular white color with a tiny little linset with a little white. just a little bit clean inside we'll put a little bit here and there all right then we will take our tiny brush we're gonna do some tail Usually, that's what they have. And we do kind of a zigzag. You can put for the I don't know what do they call the, the the lines, the legs, I guess, I don't know whatever it, they call in English. So, as a matter of fact, it looks like just like balloons, the legs. Now, we're going to do little fishes. It's, it, to make a fish, it's kind of very simple it is. All you have to do is, I know it's some, it's some of them are very little, you might not be able to see, but I want to say all you have to do is like this way. You can add the tail and you can fill it in just like a leaf you make it and then you put little bit eyes the bottom some parts you put a little bit dark like a shade shadow and you will be able to do it we're gonna put some little bit like fish small ones While they are bigger, we put a little bit more color because we can see much cleaner, like an illusion. We have to mix it with a little bit black, white, kind of like a baby's following. We put, can put a little bit the eyes. We can put a little bit on top, a little bit white, like it is from the top. Little shines comes through. And I will fill in. more yellow color we're gonna put a little fish over here maybe we're gonna mix 
mix with yellow, orange. We're gonna fill it with a little black color. It's in the water. Let's see, we're gonna do some sea urge. We're gonna need black and brown. Let's see what we can put. We're gonna put over here some sea urge. the tiniest brush because the sea urge has it's black it has They are like a star. I'm not sure if you go to the sushi bar, they'll, they'll offer you over there. Sea urge. This is the best way to make a circle. Some of them are small and some of them are big. I hope you can see it. Let's turn it this way. Maybe you can see better like this. Basically, it just lines that's a sea urge when you go to sushi bar they offer you this and this is expensive sushi dinner will be for you all right that's that now i want to do some little bubbles for the bubble what we can do is i'm going to try with this it's a pen, it's a pen that you just touch it like this and the bubble comes up. There you go. And if there is even smaller one, oh, I think it's better now. This is how you do your bubble. Under the ocean. There is too many kind of creatures. Let's put over the fish over here. Just let's put a couple bubble there. Let's see what kind of fish we can do. There is one fish there, there is sea urge, there is this, there is those little fishes, and now we can do maybe stingray. It's you, the stingray you do just like a heart. There is all kind of colors. I'm gonna put a little bit green with black, with a little bit white. put a little tail. I hope I'm not covering. I 
I had another painting I did, which is roses, and I most of the time I was covering, forgetting that I'm doing video. We put the eyes. We're just going to do a little bit white around. Now over here, we're going to put white that is like his arm, his uh, wings are like, I don't know what you call the wings. The arms are curved, turned, because he's like swimming, of course. We're gonna put other purples, burgundy fish. Let's see, let's make it here. For the tail, you can just touch the tips like this. Now we're going to put a little bit like lines on his body. The light is shining. It's a little bit hard to see, but I think it looks pretty good. It's way too colorful. I hope you see the fishes. There's one here, two here. Very, very light green. Let's make a small one like it's kind of far away. This is just like a balloon, the shape, a little darker green. The eyes, but let's make a little spots on him. This is stingray, has spots on him. All right, so after this one we finished, my phone rang and it didn't work. So all I did is I added up some water. All you have to do is just like rub your brushes like this. And this is like a surface that there is a water. So the rest it's finished. I added up a little bit uh, bubbles. So or a pen, you can take a pen the back part or the front part or even straw you can just dip it in the color and when you put it just a little bit twist it just a little bit so what it does it gives the circle for you it does the circle so that's what I did I'm gonna put a little bit under those on top of the these fishes too so just push it leave it or you can just twist a little bit just like this there you go so that's all it is about this painting and i hope you like it be inspired get your painting and do it it's very beautiful just to look at it it really relaxes you well thank you very much for watching be inspired and paint it's not hard it's easy it just that it takes time now you know all the techniques I hope you like it and if you really like it, subscribe my channel and like and I thank you again. Bye bye.
thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this channel i want to thank to all my patrons on patreon.com for their support to make my channel possible thank you